Leadership is a function. It is not so much a role, but more how you do something. Um, and it is in progress because it's a lifelong process of developing and honing those dimensions of your personal set of ethics in terms of your leadership with others. Uh, it's a competency because it's in a way a qualification that you have to repeatedly and with vigilance uh, seek to attain. SDG 16 is particularly about inclusion. And when we understand that one of the principles that drive the SDGs and their implementation is the uh, principle of leaving no one behind, those public institutions that must serve uh, the populace, well, uh, by definition, they must be inclusive. And so those of us who either work for governments or in government uh, need to understand that there's a leadership dimension and a responsibility to asking and answering the question of what does it mean to practice inclusive leadership? It means asking the question, where are, in this case, where are the women? Where are the girls? Are they benefiting equally? And it's not only where are they benefiting, but where are they not benefiting? Why is it that most of the cases of violence in terms of interpersonal violence um, are with female victims. A violence against women and girls is the most pervasive human rights violation against women on a gender basis. When I talk about leadership, I do say that leadership and good leadership is predicated, uh, it requires, it necessitates a curiosity. It, it, I say that because leadership is other-centered. To be a good leader means that you are supporting others to reach their potential and to address human needs but also encourage human potential is something that relates to where they are in life, not where you are in life. So that curiosity means that you're other focused. You want to know, I want to know where you are. I want to know where you are and where you want to go because my role is to support that shift. I think serving with the UN in Afghanistan made a big difference for me. It was a turning point that stretched uh, my uh, response, so to say, that you come to any given situation with your toolbox of prior experience and knowledge and skills, and when you're faced with a situation where you have to practice with an elasticity, uh, you can actually feel a growth happening as you respond to the context and its requirements.